Do you think it'll be a white Christmas this year? No? I was like, hey mom, we have him, except his head's broken. I'm a lot nicer whenever I'm tan. I don't know if anyone can relate to that. And unfortunately, this year is the first year that we can't do that. No, that's walking into our living room with our new couch. It is so pretty and better yet, it is snowing today. Extra pretty. What's up guys? Welcome to Vlogmas Day 16. Today is Wednesday and I am about to post my highlight for Chelsea and Dalton. I am so excited. It turned out so beautiful and I am so excited for you guys to see it. So I know I say this in pretty much every single vlog, but um, I'm always trying to self-promote myself. But I would love it if you guys followed my Instagram at Capture Life Films. I'm going to show you guys me posting it, but I am so happy with how it turned out. There's just something special about this one. One. This is the first wedding that I did that they wrote letters to each other, which I think adds so much to a wedding video. I just showed my dad the highlight, even though he asked a bajillion questions while the highlight's playing, I had to like actually tell him, I'm like, listen, you can ask all the questions you want, you can have any comments you want after the video is done playing. It's only three minutes long, just like hold tight. Anyways, he really liked it. He really liked the fact that it was a like barn wedding, country wedding, that's just his style aesthetic. Look at this couch in the background. It is so pretty, you guys we are all obsessed with it we just know that now we have to be really careful with like food and stuff in here because usually like my family was never really crazy with like rules like you can't wear shoes in the house or like don't eat on the couch or in the living room or anything like that so we have to be a lot more aware of what we're doing on this couch especially like me because I wear makeup and myself tanning lotion don't mind my face right now I have to get a shower so I didn't put makeup on or anything it is coming down like crazy my dad is getting a plow out so that he can plow our driveway because our driveway is actually like super steep our tree out there looks so cute in the snow so on today's to-do list i already uploaded vlogmas day 15 and i'm about to post chelsea and dalton's highlight i gotta clean up a little bit and i did want to get downstairs to kind of finish decorating so that we don't have to worry about it at all anymore and then i definitely have to shower at some point tomorrow we're going to be wrapping christmas presents hopefully i get some more there goes my dad kaigo do you think it'll be a white christmas this year no i don't want to jinx it but i kind of have a feeling it'll be a white christmas like if you agree if you don't agree still like this video you just don't like when people are around you you like to be petted though like she loves to be petted she just doesn't like being held and she doesn't like to like lay with anyone look at her see she's a sweet little kitty she just knows what she likes and knows what she dislikes and if you do what she dislikes she's gonna hate you i love you oh <laughs> hey oh god bless you here's the other one doing what he does best sleeping on my bed that needs to be made by the way okay here we go i'm gonna watch it real quick one last time i'm so excited the day we first met i was nervous because it was the first time i have met anyone online and i really wasn't sure what to expect it only took me about a month to figure out that he were the one that's all you guys get to see. Go watch the full highlight if you're interested on my Instagram. I'm gonna post it now. So I'm almost ready to post. This clip right here is just amazing. I am obsessed with it. So I knew I wanted to use that as their thumbnail. I just called my mom to get her advice on if I need to add anything. I actually like that it's short and sweet because everyone is just gonna watch the video anyways. But also every time I post a highlight, the post before that is always like a meet the couple. So on Monday, I posted meet Chelsea and Dalton and I wrote their love story there. So I feel like if anyone needed to refer to their love story, story to watch their video they could in my latest post so i'm going to post it and it's up so i got a shower and did a little bit of makeup um i'm not actually going to do a lot today i just put on foundation if you guys can see that and then my neck doesn't even match my face and i even used a lighter foundation i'm actually gonna tan tonight um just because i want to but i'm gonna go blow dry my hair so it is now past three o'clock and i'm finally ready for the day i feel like because it's so late in the day now there was no point in getting ready but i just did i don't know if you guys can tell but my face isn't as tan as it has been in the past. I actually used a lighter shade of foundation today because I noticed in previous vlogs my hands were extremely white. I mean they still kind of are compared to my face but my face was like extra tan and I didn't think you would notice because I was wearing like long sleeves all the time but it really started to bother me. I was like oh my god Julia you either need to tan or get a foundation that actually matches your skin color. So tonight I'm self tanning and I might even show you guys like my self tanning routine because I'm a lot nicer whenever I'm tan. I don't know if anyone can relate to that. I'm not a fan of myself 
when I'm pale. So like this isn't bad, but like I could be paler. My whole body is pretty pale but my face is what saves me and that's what's mostly on camera. So now half the day is gone, but I feel like it was still a productive day. So today, right now, I'm going to try to officially be done decorating for Christmas. I mean, Christmas is next Friday. Like, I don't know if anyone put that together, but it's next week. So, so yeah, you guys can come downstairs with me and we will finish decorating for good. I found a donut in the kitchen. Hope no one was saving it for them. <laughs> and now it just went down my shirt. Fun. It's like the spotlight's on me. Welcome to my basement where it's two degrees. I'm literally freezing. I know I'll probably get hot while I'm cleaning down here and decorating, but as of right now, I'm freezing. So I'm going to try to find something in the laundry room if it's done. <laughs> this is me being too lazy to go upstairs to my own room to get a hoodie. I just found something in our dryer. Anyways, let's get to work, Bianch. Found a Santa hat while I'm cleaning. Should I wear it to be festive? I think yes. Oh. The angel was not working the other day, and now she's working. She's fluttering her wings. I was wondering what that sound was. She's alive. Okay, finally getting somewhere. Next thing's next. I have to put snow, like cotton, on the windowsills here. And it looks pretty right now because it's actually snowing for real. It snowed so much today already, but it doesn't look like it's gonna stop anytime soon. When my mom and I were in that boutique yesterday, we saw this little Santa that dances. I was like, hey mom, we have him except his head's broken. Does anyone else have... Oh. I swear my household can just not have nice things. We're actually the ones pre-COVID that host Christmas and we have all my cousins and family stay here. But for obvious reasons, that's not happening this year, which is really sad. Our house used to get taken out on all the time. But anyways, we still use Headless Santa, don't you worry. He just can't dance anymore. What is going on? Are you two fighting? So I have everything packed away that is empty in these boxes. I put everything else that we need out on the pool table. This is like where we put everything every year. I don't know why. It's probably not good for our pool table. I'm surprised my dad doesn't yell at us. Maybe he doesn't know about it because he doesn't help us decorate. But anyways, all this stuff in the corner is the only stuff left to go into the kitchen or the living room or upstairs in general. These things are all little houses in this ice skating rink and I put them on these windowsills. This stuff is our older Christmas stuff which we usually just keep down here because if you can't already tell our basement's very dated but I kind of like it that way it's very like old-fashioned like 80s ish almost I'm not gonna lie me decorating down here has actually kind of made me a little bit sad and kind of feeling like what's the point of decorating down here no one's even gonna come in to see it and I got really emotional about it because it is something that we have done literally since I have been born we would all hang out down here and unfortunately this year is the first year that we can't do that but then I was thinking Julia you love decorating for Christmas we're still gonna be spending a little bit of time down here opening Christmas gifts on Christmas Day because we actually do come down to our basement to open our Christmas gifts on Christmas morning. It's just always been a tradition of ours. I just wanted to not only have the tree up, but to have everything else up just to like make it feel more like a normal Christmas, but um, obviously it's not. <laughs> but anyways, I was just thinking and wanted to update you guys because I was just feeling a little bit sad. I'm not the only one who deals with these things and has family usually come in for Christmas and the holidays and this year it's just not the same. So let's get back to decorating because I just keep putting it off and I need to finish. Okay, so I pretty much got everything done Done. The only thing I have left to do is put garland and lights around our bar. It always looks really cute. I always put it up here. But yeah, let's do that. We got the garland up. Now we got to do the lights. So I don't want to use these ones because literally every other one is burnt out. So I only have red and green lights left. So I'll probably just put the... I don't know what would look better. Let's do red. Actually, I found white. Moment of truth. Woo! Wait, some of these are out too. Is this the one I just used? I feel like this is the one I just used. Oh my god. Go over it. Wait, try these. These ones are half out too. Are you joking? Oh my god. Let's try these. Half. Oh my god. I only have the green ones left now. Okay, guess we're doing green. <laughs> So I just 
got done with dinner. Now I'm going to be Zooming Lauren and Marissa just to chat because we haven't talked in a while and I miss them. I want to change into something comfier. Much better. Okay, Mike, now he is twisting the circle to go onto the body. Oh, it's a beauty! Okay, it's a beauty! Was that the worst thing you've ever heard in your life? It started out pretty bad, but honestly, the ending was really good. Do you have a carrot? I do! Is it a big carrot? Wait, look at the nose! <laughs> It looks like a candle. No, that's inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> it's just upside down, kids. That's all. So because I already showered this morning, I am only going to rinse off real quick because the tan goes on a lot better whenever you're like, not wet, but like you just got out of the shower. Exfoliated, that's the word. I figured I would show you guys my self-tanning routine because in the winter time, obviously I get super pale and I would rather me be a little bit tanner. So let's get started. This is the tanning mousse that I have been using for a couple months now and I really like it. It's ultra dark and it's volley body. I think it's like sixty dollars it's kind of pricey but i honestly really love it and i got this glove to come with it i also have this face tanning water so that your face matches the tanning mousse because you're not supposed to put this on your face so i'm going to go rinse off and i will be right back okay i'm out of the shower as you can tell i did not get my hair wet i pulled it up i usually like to get a shower in the morning that i want to tan because i don't want to have to sleep with wet hair and like I don't know, I just feel like it'll get all the tan on my neck off if I have like wet hair and it touches that, whatever. And I wanted to save me tanning for tonight to show you guys my little tanning routine because I do like to sleep with it on because in the morning then I shower the layer off and it looks more natural that way. So I'm just wearing this black sports bra right now with shorts that I don't really care about so I don't care if they get tan. But I usually start with my legs and then I go to my stomach and then my arms. So that's what we're gonna do. I have a chicken wing. Okay, so I got some tanning mousse on my mitt and I'm just going to rub it on. As you can see, it goes on really dark, but whenever you take a shower in the morning, it takes that layer off so it looks more natural. So I kind of just go up and down with it. Trying to cover all parts of my leg. Also, I usually like to do feet and hands last because they're a little bit harder to do. So already you can tell the difference between this leg and this leg. Don't look at my actual feet yet. That still has to be done, but like the bottom half of my left leg is so much tanner than the bottom half of my right leg. So I remember the first time I put this on, I was like, oh my god, that's crazy how much like you can actually see a difference like right when you put it on. So I'm going to do this side now. Okay, so as you can see, my legs are tan and the rest of my body is still pasty white. Just look at the difference, it's crazy. Just in my stomach. I think I'm going to do one arm for the thumbnail so that you guys can see like before you watch it, how much of a difference there is. Also, if you think it goes on too dark, I trust me, in the morning when you shower off a layer, it really looks more natural. This is how I do my hands, by the way. I use, like, the excess on the glove. I never put a full pump on the glove for my hands because they will literally turn brown. And then I also wait about like five minutes after I'm done tanning for it to kind of dry and then I use water, no soap, just to kind of get like that one layer off on my hands because for some reason hands are always like my trouble areas where I have a hard time tanning those parts. <laughs> I didn't care about these shorts because I got tan English on them, but always wear clothes that you don't care about. Just for reference, this is what my back looks like. Yeah, because I'm not going anywhere and it's not the summertime and I usually wear long sleeve shirts all the time, I don't really care about my back. So after I tan, I usually like to go to bed in an oversized hoodie so that I can absorb all of the tan into your skin. I just use Bobbi's hoodie. This is like my designated tanning hoodie now and then I'm just gonna wear these long pants. I like to wear something that covers me completely so that I'm not getting like tanning lotion everywhere um, on my bed and everything so yeah I'm gonna change into this. But yeah that is my tanning routine. If you guys want to see how it turns out definitely watch tomorrow's vlog because tomorrow morning I'll show you guys before I shower and then after I shower what it looks like because it definitely looks a lot more natural whenever you come out of the shower. Anyways I think I'm going to end the vlog here after I change my days till Christmas because I'm always looking at it and I definitely want to be on top of that because there are nine days why is it always the end of the day that i find out there's nine days till christmas but then 
it's almost tomorrow and there's gonna be eight so i don't even know if i should maybe i'll just wait to change it tomorrow i'll just do that okay bye guys i've been on the road out here with the squad everybody trying to go yeah the party jumping off and we putting on a show trying to catch a vibe we do this every time like na 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 na